So and if you want to look more deeply into the, the various biological pathways and the supplementation regimes for this, uh, the paper that I think is really spectacular is a paper, last author um, is Quaresma, Q-U-A-R-E-S-M-A. That's Q-U-A-R-E-S-M-A. It's a review, the possible importance of glutamine supplementation to mood and cognition in hypoxia from high altitude. And even though the paper is about high altitude induced hypoxia, it does seem to have direct relevance to the sorts of apnea that are related to Alzheimer's and other forms of cognitive decline. Now, I've been taking glutamine as a supplement, gosh, since I was in college, mostly because I felt either by superstition or by reality that it protected me from um, various uh, flus and colds and things of that sort because of the purported uh, immune enhancing effects. Again, those immune enhancing effects have some data to support them, not a ton. However, I got into the habit of taking glutamine and now that I've learned that glutamine seems to also have some cognitive enhancing effects, possibly. It's a supplement that I continue to take. I take very small amounts of it, but um, I do uh, take it on a regular basis. 